You want to go first? Sure. Berthed Summit snow tall side today, just on the west side of Berthed Pass. I'm Lexi Leanders, a hydrologist with the Natural Resources Conservation Service. And I'm Brian Demakos, also with the Colorado Snow Survey Program of the NRCS. We care a lot about the snowpack and the water. One would like to think that because the water fell here, it, uh, it is ours, but that's not the case, actually. And this snow tall site is a remote monitoring station that provides automated data for snowpack and other meteorologic conditions. I'll go in the shelter, is that all right? This building is a shelter. We refer to them as snow tall shelters and they house all of the electronics that are used uh, to capture all of the data that's coming from sensors. We're monitoring that snowpack for the purposes of water and runoff uh, in order to help hopefully predict how much water we'll have in the spring as it flows into the Colorado here and the Clear Creek, which then flows into the South Platte, the Platte, the Missouri, the Mississippi, and then down into the Atlantic. 77.9? 77.9. So what I'm holding here right now is what we call a snow tube set. Uh, more officially, it is called a federal sampler. And the federal sampler um, has been relatively unchanged since about the late 1930s. And what we do is we put it down into the snow, and there's a little lip at the bottom that actually keeps the core inside. That core is what we use to weigh and sample uh, the snowpack. So now we have a point measurement of what the snow is there. And when we weigh this, that literally tells us how much water is in the snowpack right at that point. The reason that we do this is because we're trying to measure water. Water is very important here in the West. And most of that actually comes in the form of snow. 48 and a half. 48.5. So those living in the valley really rely on the mountain snowpack, even though they might not see the mountains in their backyard. There are a number of obligations that Colorado has where water has to be provided to downstream states. Snow depth, 56.0. 56.0. The water that falls in the South Platte Basin, where I live, uh, also goes down to irrigate the crops uh, locally that I eat and that I buy. It's also important to consider the wildlife and aquatic species that inhabit a watershed. When we draw downstreams too much for um, agriculture or power generation, then it can be hard for the native fish species to thrive, and we see an influx in invasive species in those cases. 51.0. 51.0. A watershed is really important to me. I personally live in the headwaters of the Platte River Basin. I live at almost 8,000 feet in elevation just below Mount Evans. I see the very beginning of the snowmelt runoff as that makes its way further downstream. And so I feel a deep connection to the South Platte watershed. 21 inches of snow water equivalent and the snow density of 34%. All right. Since everything checks out, uh, I can break down the tube set. Yeah, looks like want. we're all set. 